believe all of the design for streetscape is done. Mm -hmm. I believe that the um, there's been pre-qualifications gone out. Uh, this is, the entire streetscape is a district project because it is district uh, a district road and and uh, the water and sewer infrastructure under it. But um, so it's going out for tender. I believe the tenders are are to close January end of January in 2021, and the project hopefully will be starting as soon as the snow allows us, and we hope that that'll be. Um, maybe late March, 1st of April. Um, so, you know, we know we're in it for a year mm -hmm. and, uh, and we know it's going to be disruptive. Um, we know King William was disruptive. Um, we learned something from King William. We're trying to put uh, more checks and balances in place um, to help the downtown survive the, the streetscape project. Um, and, uh, and we just hope it goes smoothly. Yeah, I guess in a lot of ways it was lucky to have King William first because it is less disruptive even though it was annoying for some people, uh, myself included, but you know, I mean, I understand that it needed to move forward. Um, but it does give you that sort of clear perspective of, of how people are going to react to that and what they need to know on a, on a weekly basis or even more, right? Yeah, and, we, and we're, put, we're setting up programs that, that there will be daily updates to let people know where the construction is, how you get around it, mm -hmm. where you can park, um, who's open, and hopefully that'll be everybody that's yes. open every day. Um, but but we're, we're working hard right now to put the plans in place. So um, just to mention the dirty word COVID again, um, you know, businesses have been affected by COVID this year. So what is the town kind of doing to make sure that that doesn't carry over into from COVID to streetscape in the same form of effect. Yeah, I think, you know, we're going to be so happy to see the end of COVID. Mm -hmm. I think we'll be happy to see the end of streetscape too. <laughs> it, it, is, it is going to be a tough go for the businesses downtown, but it was going to happen at some point. Mm -hmm. um, we're hoping this is the best year for it to happen, and we're hoping that we can mitigate the um, disruption or, or certainly the loss to businesses. Um, there's, there's no magic, magic way to do that, um, but we are working um, with the BIA, we're working with the Chamber, um, we're working with the District, uh, we will work with the contractor as soon as they're selected, and uh, I think people just have to realize that at the end of this we're going to have a beautiful downtown, we're going to have a new main street, new sidewalks, we're going to have an accessible pedestrian walkway between High and Main, and then uh, going on down to River Mill Park. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to have a redeveloped Kent Park. Um, so lots of pain to get there, but when we do, um, hopefully people will, will uh, forget some of the pain. Are we, my main question, are we going to have a crosswalk on Main Street here between, <laughs> across West Street there, because that's probably the worst spot to cross the street and there's no other the, crosswalks anywhere. The, cro the crosswalk is actually on the corner of Centre and West, right uh, across from Main Street Local. Oh, fantastic. So that's where the crosswalk fantastic. is going. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. Probably the most exciting <laughs> thing I, I can look forward to in Streetscape, Karen, because it is the worst to try to get across that part of the road. You have to walk all the way down the street. Um, so let's... That's my favorite part. I want to know what your favorite part of Streetscape is coming up out of this. Probably seeing the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> and we haven't even started yet, but uh, I just know that it's going to be tough going for, for the people that uh, work downtown and the, and the stores and their businesses and, and also for our shoppers to get there. Um, but I just keep saying it has to happen. You know, it's underground infrastructure. The piece we're doing on top is is, uh, is is sort of the cherry on top of the cake at the end of it. But, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's something that has to be done because, as they tell us, otherwise the infrastructure underground will fail someday and it'll be a real mess if we aren't contracted out to do it. 